Now, using this particular method, you say, well, if you, you have to take note that all of the sounds that you are triggering are coming out of the same mixer channel that your machine is set to. So in order to mix your drums within the, the FL Studio Mixer, using this particular method, you have to route your machine first to its own mixer channel. So I'm gonna skip these. I'm going to add the machine here. Now, each sound at this point will now be coming out of this one mixer channel 18. Now, in order to get all of these particular sounds to their own mixer channel using this particular method, what we have to do is we have to go back to our wrapper settings but this time we have to go to processing. Inside of processing, you'll notice this connection tablet. This right here shows you where F FL Studio identifies the 16 outputs that the machine has. We want to click auto map. This auto map does, what it does is it en enables FL Studio to, well, it enables the machine's outputs to be received by FL Studio. You still have to route these outputs to FL Studio. So if that, that only makes it so that FL Studio is able to see it. It's not going to automatically do it. You have, you have to tell it to go there. So what we, don't, so what we have to do is we go back to our machine. For the, each particular sound that we have, as you can see, it's still coming out of the same channel. What we need to do is we're going to go to sound, and we're going to go to our out tab. And in our out tab, the first option that we see on our machine is output. The output for each sound in this particular group is set to group output. What we need to do is we need to set each output to its own output. So we're going to change each output to its own output. So for pad one, it's set to out two. Pad two, set to out two. Pad three, set to out three. Pad four, and so on. Now, as I was setting that up, is that all of our sounds are set up to their own mixer channel. Now, you have to take note that when you add the machine to a mixer channel and you set these outputs, these outputs are cascading, which means 1 through 16 are going to be count down from whatever channel you, you have the machine set to. So, which is why I specifically organized things the way that I did, because now that, that allowed me to have free mixer channels to the right of the machine. So when I add these outputs, I put two, be one next to it, I put three, and so on, so on. You can go in here and, re and rename these channels, you know, so you can identify them later, like this is snare, so I rename that snare, and hat, rename this hat, you know, for your organizational purposes. You can rename them, and again, you can add whatever effects you want, you know, compression, you know, whatever you want to do, you can do it. Volume adjust, everything is all right here. And this is this is effective for both the uh, step sequencer and piano roll method I just showed you.